In this unit, our learning target is I can add and subtract three digit numbers using place value. Our success criteria today is I will know I'm successful when I can use place value to subtract and regroup three digit numbers. We have been subtracting and regrouping numbers, but the goal for today, your success criteria for today, is to really be thinking about what it means when we regroup. What does it mean when we cross a number out to make more tens or more ones? So watch as I solve this problem. Ken has 135 toy cars. He gives 47 of them to his friend. How many toy cars does Ken have left? Well, first I want to make sure this is a subtraction problem. So I'm going to think, hmm, Ken has 134 to 35 toy cars in all. He gives part of those cars to his friend. And this question is asking me to figure out the other part, the part that he has left. So I know it's subtraction because I have the total and I have one part and I need to subtract to find the other part. I've also lined up my place values, which is critical when you subtract. Now I'm going to model the 135. The reason I'm modeling it, remember, is because our success criteria is to really know for sure what it means when we're regrouping in the standard algorithm. So I'm going to start in the ones place and subtract 5 minus 7. Well, I can't take 7 from 5, so I'm going to ungroup a 10, and that's going to give me 10 ones. That's going to mean I only have two tens left. And now, instead of five ones, I add the 10 that I brought over from the tens place. And now I have 15 ones. 10 plus 5 is 15 ones. Minus the 7 is going to be eight ones. Now, I need to subtract my tens. My tens. Two minus four. Please remember, you cannot subtract up. You can't just subtract up. So I need to subtract 2 minus 4, but I can't do that. So I'm going to go to the hundreds place, take a 10, 10 plus the 10 tens plus the two tens I have is going to make 12 tens. And I don't have any hundreds left over. So 12 minus 4 is 8. Ken has 8 toy cars left. Now it's your turn. Pause the video, read the problem, and solve it. Please remember to think about the place value that's going on when you are doing your, your salute, when you're solving your equation. Pause the video now, please. All right. Well, hopefully what you did sounded something like this. Lisa has 124 daisies in her garden. She picks 35 of them. How many daisies are still in Lisa's garden? Well, we know how many daisies Lisa has in all. And we know that she picks part of the flowers. And we need to figure out the other part. So yes, we subtract. And notice the place values are lined up. 124 minus 35 will give me how many daisies are in Lisa's garden, are left in Lisa's garden. I'm going to model the total, because when we subtract, we model the total and we pull out part and that will give us the other part. Now I need to subtract 4 minus 5. Well, I can't do that. I can't take 5 from 4, so I take a 10. And that will give me 10 ones. I have only one 10 left over. And instead of 4 ones, I now have 14 ones. And 14 minus 5 is 9. Now I need to subtract my 10s. I have 1 10 minus 3 10s. Uh-oh, I have more on the floor. What do I do? I need to go to the hundreds. I need to go next door, take a hundred. That's going to give me, I took my hundred. It's going to give me 10 tens plus the one ten. So it's going to leave me with zero hundreds and now give me 10 tens plus the one ten for 11. 11 minus three is eight tens. There are 89 daisies still in Lisa's garden. Let's do one more problem. This time we're going to take away the place value model, but I just want you to be thinking in your head what's going on when we're ungrouping. Think about the place value involved. I have 527 minus 389. And notice 
the place values are lined up. Now you can pause the video and solve the problem on your own or solve it along with me. All right, here we go. 7 minus 9 in the 1's place. I can't do that. I am more on the floor. I'm going to go to the 10's place. Take a 10. That will leave me 1 10. I'll take for the 1 10 that I just get, that gives me 10 1's plus the 7 1's. So now I have 17 1's minus the 9 1's makes 8. Now I need to subtract 1 minus 8. Uh-oh, more on the floor. I need to go next door to the hundreds. So I'm going to take one one hundred. That will give me four one hundreds. I no longer have one one. I have ten. I'm sorry, I no longer have one ten. I have ten tens. And I need to add that ten tens to the one that I had for eleven tens. Now eleven tens minus eight tens is three tens. Be careful. I'm not done. Hopefully you saw that I have hundreds here. That's why we always have to check. Now I need to subtract because I have 400 still. 400 minus the 300 gives me 1. 138 is the difference between 527 and 389 is 138. Your success criteria today was to use place value to subtract and regroup three digit numbers. Here is a problem that you can solve in Google Classroom. Solve it on paper and put your answer in Google Classroom. This way you can prove to yourself and to me that you really know how to use place value to subtract and regroup. Here is your math to do list. Do the exit ticket, and if you need extra practice, watch the tutorial videos in Google Classroom. Complete the practice pages in Seesaw, and then go over to iknowit.com and complete one assignment. Have fun!